Hey everyone, this is Costa from Solitech Solutions and today I'll be taking you through different methods of creating indentations. So the first feature that I'll show you is the indent feature. So this is the result here. If I just roll back before the indent, we'll recreate that feature. So navigate to your indent feature and the indent feature requires a target body. So we're going to select this body here and a tool body which will create the indentation. So the tool body here is going to be this body notice they're not intersecting and you get this indentation now this is with the option keep selection if you want to reverse this around select remove selection you can you can see here what what it does is the target body gets indented by this tool body and you get a thickness which is 10 mil here and a clearance from the body which is 1 mil here if i increase this you should be able to see uh, the clearance increase so i'll just keep that at 1 leave it at 10 thickness and we can see the result here but you can see this is a pretty sharp indentation so let's have a look at a different method to create a more smoother finish Oops. and we'll have a look at the deform tool so this is the result with the deform tool just note that I've got section view on and we'll just step through how I created that indentation with the deform tool We'll just roll back, navigate to our deform tool, and the option I'm using here is the surface push. Now first we need to select the push direction, so select this planar face and it'll extract the, the normal vector. Just swap that direction, because the tool body will be indenting it in this direction. So next we've got the choice of indenting uh, the entire body, which is our target body, or just the face of that body. We're going to select the entire body. And next, you have a selection for the tool body that will create the indentation. So here you've got the choice of a couple of different standard shapes, but we want to select select body, and this will allow us to use any solid body for the indentation. So we select that solid body, and it just gives us a preview. Now you can see the face over here is being sort of sucked in, and that's due to the indentation of the body. This parameter here is the deform deviation, and this uh, governs the roughness of the indentation, or the sharpness rather. So next we've got the choice of using this triad to create the, the depth of that indentation. So let's just accept this, and we can see the result. We'll just hide this body for clarity. And you can see the finish here. So it's nice and smooth. I just want to show you one more feature, and that's the freeform tool. This doesn't require a tool body. What I've done here, I've, I've used the freeform tool twice on both the different surfaces, but I could use just one surface body and the freeform tool in the surfaces tab and then thicken that surface. But we'll start off with the solid anyways. So we start off with our flat solid, and we'll navigate to the freeform tool. So with the freeform tool, you select the face to deform, we we'll select this bottom face, and what you then do is select curves on this face. So this curves in two directions, and when you select a curve, it basically makes it a spline. And then from there, you select spline, spline points, and you can move those spline points just as you would in a 2D sketch. So one thing I want to enable here is having symmetry in both of the directions. And I can go ahead, go ahead and add some curves. So here I'm going to select the plane, so it's on that symmetry plane. I'm going to add points to this curve at the intersection of the symmetry. Just going to press escape. Now I can select that point and drag that point down. And then I simply accept this to uh, accept the results. So I'll do the exact same thing on the top surface. And this is the final result, a nice smooth indentation. You can adjust, you can apply more spline points and curves and adjust the surface to how you want. But you can see here that you didn't need a tool body to make this indentation. Alright, thank you for listening.